Ganesh. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the final award of the evening. Introduced in 2004, it is with great pride that I give you Kimpro Platinum Standard 2014 for Healthcare. It is an honor to announce this year's winner, Dr. Milind Kirtane. Dr. Milind Kirtane, a renowned ENT surgeon. That's an understatement. He can best be described as pioneer, professional, and people-focused. Dr. Kirtane's most distinguished contributions to mankind is gifting a new life to children born with profound hearing loss through cochlear implants. Dr. Kirtane, a man with a mission, improving the quality of life of children. Over the past 18 years, he has conducted over 1,700 successful cochlear implants. He has gone that extra mile, raising donations for as many as 1,000 children who could not afford the cost of an implant. And that is really a benchmark. <laughs> knowledge is not knowledge until it is shared. Dr. Kirtane has walked this belief. He has trained 150 ENT surgeons for cochlear implant surgery. He even mentors these surgeons during their first few implants. Excellence is synonymous with Dr. Milin Kirtane, a missionary, a perfectionist, an altruist. Dr. Kirtane has established 32 cochlear implant centers across the country. Several of these centers are in public hospitals, but challenges empower him to succeed. In parallel, Dr. Kirtan is also a colossus for micro-ear surgery in India. This tireless crusader has conducted numerous free camps in rural Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Chhattisgarh, Gujarat, Haryana, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, the list is endless. In addition, he has conducted camps in Kenya and Ethiopia. To accomplish his self-driven humanitarian goals, Dr. Kirtane has trained over 1,600 ENT surgeons for conducting micro-ear surgeries. More recently, he has commenced training ENT surgeons in Northeast India. Dr. Kirtane has several pioneering initiatives to his credit. Noteworthy among these are the vertical laboratory and functional endoscopic sinus surgery. In each case, he has scaled their application through training several more surgeons in India and in our neighboring countries. We salute you, Dr. Milin Kirtane. A Kimpro Platinum Standard 2014 for healthcare. May I request Dr. Armida Fernandez, a Kimpro Platinum Standard 2013, and Dr. Sultan Pradhan, a Kimpro Platinum Standard 2009, to kindly present the award. Dr. Kirtane, may I request you to kindly say a few words? You know, I wrote this down so that I wouldn't shoot or overshoot my time. So, 
Mr. Lula, the other trustees of Kimpro, the panel of judges, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really grateful to Kimpro for this award, which is not only an honor, but an encouragement to keep on doing what I've been doing and do it even better. <clears throat> I went to the website when I was told about this award and I looked up the names of the previous awardees and I saw a list of names of people who have been role models for me. So I feel really humbled by this award. You know, I'm attached to various hospitals as an ENT surgeon, Hinduja, Breach Candy, Saifi, Prince Ali Khan, so on and so forth. But my strongest bond is with the KEM Hospital in Parel, which I joined on the 12th of June, 1965, as an undergraduate student. And I still continue there without a break as an honorary emeritus professor. Next year, it'll be half a century in the same campus. Last 30 years, I've been working in the capacity as an honorary, which means working for the economically weaker section patients without remuneration. An ethos which is in, has been ingrained into us by my teachers like Dr. Joe Disa, ENT surgeon, Dr. Karnik. You know, when Roger mentioned that I have done many cochlear implants by raising donations and done them free of cost, it has never been with the sense of sacrifice. It's just a continuation of what I've done all my life at KEM. You know, just for those of you who may not be aware what a cochlear implant is, it's really a miracle of modern electronics and microsurgery. It's a mini computer which replicates the function of the ear but outside the body and then transmits this information to the brain through the nerve by transmitting using a transmitter coil and what the surgery involves is just putting a very tiny receiver into the cochlea to receive this information. It not only restores the hearing for these children who've been born completely deaf, it allows them to get language, speech, and education, and therefore the capacity to join the mainstream of society and not remain sequestrated. But cochlear implants are expensive. The cheapest one costs about five and a half lakhs. It's well beyond the reach of most of our patients. I run a free OPD at Hinduja Hospital every Tuesday, and out of the 20 or 25 patients who attend, there'll be barely one or two who can afford it. I've now done about 1,900 operations, out of which 1,200 have been done with donations, thanks to the large heart of the corporates in India. We have large donations from various foundations like the Mahindra Foundation, the Hindustan Construction Company, a huge amount of help from the Tata Trust, from Salman Khan Trust. And please pardon me if I don't mention the others, but there is a huge long list of corporates who've come forward to help. It is also heartwarming now to see that many states, the governments have started funding cochlear implants. I have a very fond memory of three years ago when I went to the residence of the then Gujarat Chief Minister, Sri Narendra Modi. And he gave me an audience and I made a presentation to him trying to plead with him that his state should uh, give cochlear implants to poor people. I was really overawed by the man's response. First of all, he asked me some very relevant questions so he'd grasp the whole subject. And unlike many states where the coffers have been just opened up, he said to me after listening to my presentation, okay, sounds good. I'll give you 20 implants, do them in one year. At the end of one year, we will assess the result, and then I will decide whether to give you more. I'm very proud to say that for the last few months now, early this year, the Gujarat state uh, government has started funding cochlear implants in Gujarat. I hope Maharashtra follows suit someday. Government support to this program means there is a sudden increase in the number of patients who can now afford a cochlear implant and we didn't have enough people to do them. So the last nine years, what we've started is a training program for surgeons who want to learn this. And it's a rigorous hands-on training program. We've trained, as Roger said, over 150 surgeons who have now opened about 40 centers. So I've gone there and helped them with these centers and trained these surgeons. 
including in Bombay, places like the KEM Hospital, the Nair Hospital, the Cyan Hospital, the Railway Hospitals, and certain private hospitals. And in these 40 centers now, over 1,000 surgeries have already been done. So these are even in the semi-urban areas where this is now available. But this means um, in that initial period, they require a lot of hand-holding and mentoring. And it means traveling every weekend to one of the centers when the surgeon is doing the surgery and standing by. It's an amazing drain on my time. And you know, I would really like to thank my family members here for their understanding, not complaining about my time away from home. My wife, Josna, who's here, she's a pediatric surgeon who worked at the JJ Hospital for 29 years in the public sector, so she knows what it's all about. My daughter, Gauri, who was working with Akanksha, that deals with the education of slum children. Right now, she's taken a break looking after her three sons who are all under the age of four years. My long period of absence from home, which she used to complain about, has trained her well now because her husband, Debashish, travels more than I do. My son, Gautam, and my daughter-in-law, Shahida, work for ORF. It's an organization that cooperates with municipal and government to do public interest projects. Shahida just released an information booklet on diabetes along with the municipal corporation to be distributed to diabetic patients and various organizations. And they all help me. Uh, we have adopted a trust very recently to help these patients. So they all help me in this along with Mr. Um, Arun Nanda, Dr. Alka Karande, and Nishita Mohandas, who are all involved in running this trust. I Hear Foundation is what we call it, and its vision, every child has a right to hear. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Kirtane.